Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room and I can hear my mom's voice. My bag and dad's camera, ready for the great departure. My bag and dad's camera, ready for the great departure.
You're up. It's gonna be a beautiful... I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, breakfasts. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a she an identity pendant, your thoughts, memory. We don't wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. We don't know what caused. We heard people suddenly felt these were years of wild, and half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can <gasps> Objects have two layers. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Two, feel the sense. Three, feed. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it's supposed to be painless. At least. No, you must remember that's your role. The pendant needs this little sacrifice. I want to be sure. Don't be afraid. A few memories is a small price. Okay, this old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Your dad came home. We all rested together until it got dark. What an odd feeling. Like an absolutely empty space until I forget that. <sighs> I'm glad I'm only losing. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the... I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. So they should be important. They should be parts of your identity. So think about what these items... Let's do... Find an object with a straw and that holds a piece of you. Nothing. I always looked for other worlds. Glue, acid, dust, pulp. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. Tangled nest, sour play. This speaks to how my dad loved me. This speaks to how my dad loved me. Faint, damp canyon. A friend gave me this a long time ago. Nothing. I collect stories. Nothing. I take care of fragile things. Nothing. I look closely. Sour. Handshake. 
sweat. I always had the intuition the world could change completely. A friend gave me this a long time ago. What did you choose for smell? Okay, let's take a big whiff of this. I remember. This was in a month after your father. It didn't seem so, but you just weren't interested. It was hard to know. One day, you and your friend Pate went fishing. You didn't catch anything, but when I was putting away your... We found this creature. Pate had dropped it in without you noticing. I remember how it made... And I felt, no matter how much things... I will get to see my little girl smile again. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Wax, soft, ancient wall. I was left by people I have no memory of. My hand in my own hand. This speaks to how my mom loves me. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, put your hand in the hand. Oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now. Not many children live long enough. We believed if the child could make it to the age of nine, they'd be all right. This print was made of your hand. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had an old deep fear inside of me finally went away. And we saw you would just keep that everything was going to be okay. I'm fine. Let's do pick something that that looks nice. Dad by my hand. I remember who my dad was. So, what did you end up choosing? I remember your dad sitting a long time, but you spent most of the time getting it down to fewer and fewer details. He's been gone for years now. And yet, when I look at these lines, I remember what he was like around the house, the way he moved. You really captured him. What is a force in the world? How could a few lines on the scrap of paper resist it? You were so young when you learned that the love in our lives is not... People are never replaced. They just go. We see them in these lines until the lines go too. For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home. This is my only thing you must promise me never to take the pendant off. And never tamper with it. 
Okay, then I'm okay with... I think your camera and bag, it's time to gather them up. I've lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? Look at us. There we are. There we will always be right here on this beautiful morning. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet.
I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. We have plenty of fresh water here. I wonder if it's more scarce in the outside world. Last night, my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branch. Last night, there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumio. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on... There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Pate loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. A wish fell off the tree. I'm not supposed to read them, but it might be good for you to have an example of one. I can go against tradition a little for posterity. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too. Pate's little daydream of leaving this place of seeing something weird. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. village is nice if you're a child or an old person, but for those of us in between, I need to leave.
A village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else.
These birds migrate, but we don't know where they come from or where they're going. We learn to grow cures for maladies from the outside world, even though they seem to be long gone. It's just tradition. Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. I had to drink this gross potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain. I go fishing here with my best friend, Pate, even though there's nothing to catch. We both appreciate the silence. Caro Village was founded during the modernity. Much later, Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in his image.
This flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for dad, our doorstep was covered in them. A sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone so the next time you lay down in the dirt you will have so much more to tell them <laughs> 